We now live in a world where everything randomly comes at you and the natural response is to attend to them just as they come. But that takes us nowhere because it leaves us with tons of important things undone. In this video, I'll be showing you five steps to live an organized life. Let's jump right into the video. According to Psychology Today, clutter causes stress in part because of its excessive visual stimuli, which sends signals to our brain that work is usually left undone and this leaves us with the feeling of guilt, anxiety and overwhelm. You don't want to leave your workspace, your room and even your house in general dotted because organization and the mind cannot be separated, they work hand in hand. So you want to have your workspace decluttered, you want to have your room and your house in general decluttered. That way you're sending signal to your mind that you're ready to be focused and your mind in return will be ready to focus. Now that you've decluttered your space, the next thing will be to declutter your mind, which means get things out of your head. I mean, your brain dump. This is actually a mind declutter where you write out everything on your mind. When you keep ideas in your mind, your mind is not settled. It doesn't have a particular thing to focus on. But when you decide to take out time and write out the thoughts, the ideas, responsibility, activities, tasks in your head, you actually give your mind space to breathe. That way, your mind will be ready to pick them one after the other and start working on them. So you might want to go about your mind declutter the analog way or the digital way. Personally, I love to go the analog way because when I use paper and pen, there's just the natural feeling that I get. Like it just feels so home and so calm to me. And I am able to navigate and draw a connecting point between one idea, the other idea, an activity and another activity. But the most important thing is that you need to get things out of your mind. You remember how it, a cluttered space looks like, right? Exactly. That is how your mind looks like when you have so many things going on in your mind. Your mind will not be able to focus on something. And if your mind cannot focus on something, you won't be able to be organized because once something is not productive, you want to move on to the next thing to see if you're going to be productive. And this is actually going to be a bonus point. For me, I think that multitasking is a myth. You know, actually multitasking from one task to another task, which are completely unrelated. You won't be able to reach your maximum productivity, even if you feel like you're doing two things at a time, your mind will be bubbled and it's just like cluttering your mind. So focus on one thing at a time after you've written down all of the things in your mind. That way your mind can breathe. Goal setting and brain dumping are two different things. They are not the same thing. Brain dumping is getting things out of your head. Goal setting is trying to organize them according to the season of your life and according to priority. So after you have gotten things out of your head, the next thing you want to do is to actually prioritize. You know, you should be able to differentiate between tasks and events. Events are things that keep happening in your life over and over again while tax most of the time once you tick them they are done and dusted the goal setting is one thing you want to approach and that not in a haste if you don't set your goals you'll find out that you're trying to do so many things at a time and at the end of the day you'll be able to achieve less or nothing at all so set your goals according to priority ensure you know the season of your life that you're in the things that are most important to you at the time the events the tasks that are most important to you at the time. That way you will know what to prioritize, you will know what to do first, and you will know what to do during your leisure time. You will also know what to push to the next. So goal setting is actually a topic on its own because I personally recommend the 90 day approach whereby you set goals for the next 90 days. And for me, I like to set three goals for 
90 days. That way, my focus is sharp. I know that 90 days is enough for me to keep my hopes high and I have enough energy to pursue just those three things that I have set for myself. And I promise you, it is a game changer. You want to give it a try. Again, Creating systems and setting goals are not the same thing. Creating system is where you've been able to identify the events that happen in your life again and again. And then you create a system such that they are imputed into your daily activities. They are imputed into your routine. And some of them have actually become a ritual and not really be able to go into building systems but if you want me to create a video on that please let me know in the comment section creating systems is something that is very important you know knowing what to do afterwards creating systems is going to save you a lot it begins with stacking habits together and i'll recommend atomic habits if you really want to learn how to create systems and stack habits so when you're creating systems you're stacking habits that are related so that once you finish doing one it leads you to the next let me show you how to build systems from your goals for instance you're in a season where you want to take your spiritual life to the next level and you want to ensure that you're also living a healthy life the way you can create a system is when you before you go to bed every night ensure that your bible your journal the book you're reading your pen are beside you again you also want to ensure that you put a bottle of water beside your bed so that you are able to drink water when you wake up in the morning and if you also want to add exercise to your routine your habit and your ritual ensure that your clothing for exercise is right beside your bed so that once you're done with your devotion in the morning you don't have to go about looking for your outfit is just right beside your bed and you can just put it on and go do your exercise you see how beautiful and simple system building is all right this one is a no-brainer and it works like magic i mean no jokes planning your day a night before is as simple as you think it is and it is a game changer i promise you you see when you plan your day a night before especially if you're a creative probably you want to create videos you want to write a book when you plan your day a night before by writing in your journal either analog or your digital journal you're actually prepping your mind so while you're sleeping your mind is actually you know working on those thoughts that you pinned down that you want to work tomorrow and when you wake up most of the time you realize that you wake up with ideas you wake up with so many ways that you can do those things that you want to do and when waking up in the morning thinking of what to do actually wastes your time but when you wake up and you already know what to do it just puts you on autopilot you just go on autopilot and you find out that you are able to achieve more in a day let me take you through the five steps to live an organized life again the first step is to ensure that your space is decluttered clutter is not good for you it makes your mind run everywhere the second thing is to ensure that you declutter your mind as well write things down brain dump empty your mind you know that way you're able to visualize you're able to see the connecting dots between all of the ideas the thoughts and the activities that you have the third step is to actually set goals you cannot afford to do things randomly random and organized are two different things you can't live a random life and expect to be organized so ensure you set your goals the fourth thing is to actually build systems that way it puts your goals on autopilot your goals have now become habits exactly and the fifth and most beautiful thing is to ensure that you plan your day the night before that way you wake up knowing what to do and you're going for it i love to say something when it comes to living an organized life an organized life helps you to do the things that you have to do so that you can do the things that you want to do i hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you're not if you have questions please leave them in the comment section i'll be more than happy to give responses to them until i see you in my next video bye, -bye.